it's leg day at the gym or at the shop. I'm working out my foam smith muscles today by crafting some robot legs. Greetings fellow makers, I'm Brittany Duran from Punish Props and I've been making some pretty good progress on my sweeper bot costume from the video game Destiny. And in this video, I'll show you how I made all the leg and hip pieces. Since I don't actually have thin robot legs like Sweepy has, I'm gonna be making my pieces a little bit bigger and thicker just to kind of help out with the whole proportion on a human. My goal is to have the overall look of a character not match it exactly. If I need to change the scale of different pieces to make it fit and be more comfortable, I'm totally fine with that. Now let's get on with the build. Sweepy's knees and thighs stick forward at an angle from her calf. I want to try and simulate this effect while still keeping my legs comfortably straight. These handy duct tape leg pieces were made for my Assaultron costume last year. I'll link those videos in the description below. After several attempts, I drew out the knee template and checked how far I wanted this fake knee to sit in front of my leg. The template got traced onto 6mm craft foam and the inset pieces were carefully cut out. Wedges of foam were cut from the back of the knee to create hinges. Before gluing the inset foam into place, I cleaned up the edges with a grinding bit on my rotary tool. Hot glue held the inset pieces in place and also was used for the side panels. So, I hate cutting circles. I always have to clean up my cuts later and I'm not great at getting the circles even. There's lots of different maker tools that will totally work on foam to help you with your circle cutting needs. I needed a bunch of circles so I went with our laser cutter. I used low power and several passes to cut all the way through the thicker foam. Vaporized EVA foam is not good to breathe, so make sure you have excellent ventilation systems in place for the laser cutter if you try this method. Some of these circles got their edges sanded to a taper and a heat gun smoothed out any foam fuzzies. The one on the right has been heat sealed. I sketched out the design for the side of the knee and then cleaned up all the details. This floor mat dulls my knife after only a few cuts, so I keep a knife sharpener nearby. A sharp knife makes these cuts so much easier. The front of the knee got super glued to some of my foam circles, with smaller circles glued on top. To attach the bigger pieces, I used contact cement, which creates a strong, even bond. I needed a curved tube-like piece, so I heated up some foam and held the shape in place with a PVC pipe as the foam cooled. This piece will also keep the knee panels from flexing and will act as an attachment to my shin. I like the position of the fake knee and I think it will be pretty effective from certain angles, even though it ended up being a little bit bigger than Sweepy's actual knee. Since the sweeper bot has super thin legs, I'm only making the front and outside parts of the thigh out of foam. The rest will be drawn onto the bodysuit. Even with the help of my dummy thigh piece, I still had to resize the first template attempt. For these bigger thigh pieces, I went with thicker floor mat foam. These laser cut circles need a nice big seam, so I sanded in a chamfer. Also, the circles needed to be even more rounded than my previous ones, so I heated them in a bowl and held the curved shape in place. Not much of the circle edges touched down on the foam below, so I used quite a bit of hot glue to keep them in place. The fronts of the thighs are at an angle, so when I cut the second strip of foam, I made sure to angle my blade. I also modified the design so there will be room to bend my legs. A fake seam was cut into the foam and enhanced with a heat gun, then sanded open even a little farther with a rotary tool. Contact cement made this next part super easy. I slowly tacked down the front panel in place and the adhesive forced the tapered strip into the right place. There are lots of panel details to be added on either side of the leg pieces. Instead of cutting through the thick foam, I traced my piece onto 3mm craft foam, then cut the details out of the thin foam and glued the piece right on top. All the panels around this piece are at crazy tapered angles, so I half-mathed and half-brute-forced a shape that kind of looks like the reference. 
For the curved strip on this lower panel, I made sure to leave extra foam and cut it to size after gluing. These pieces hang a little bit off the sides of the thigh and are forced into shape with contact cement. More sanding drum rivets are added as well. I cut out a partial inner thigh piece. This will help with the thinner robot leg look. Now that the knee and thigh are made, I can add some more foam that makes these pieces kind of overlap a bit. I did a quick test fit to check the angles and I'm pretty happy with the look so far. My plaster cast torso came in handy for the hip piece design process. We have a plaster cast torso tutorial video that I will link down below. I quickly mocked up the panels with newspaper and adjusted the sizing until it fit me and still looked like the reference. The templates got transferred to cardstock and all my angles got cleaned up. Conveniently, these panels are symmetrical on the front and back of Sweepy. I went with six millimeter foam for these pieces and cut out all the straight lines. A trench of foam was cut from the backs of these panels to get the angled look and a more extreme angle got cut from the side pieces. There's inset details on the side panels that were cut out and cleaned up with a sanding drum. For some triangle details, I used a scrap of three millimeter foam and batched out four pieces, then super glued the details in place. All of the hinges are glued together with hot glue and are held at the right angle as the glue cools. These side panels will float off the sides of my hips and the front and back panels will be attached to my bodysuit. It's time to test all the new pieces together. I'm not adding the actual attachments until I make my bodysuit, but here's a test with my old Vex costume undersuit. I use some duct tape and temporary straps to barely keep everything in place. I think this works pretty well. Wearable tests like this are super handy, since I see that I'll need to adjust the fit and placement a little bit when I have time later. It's great to have the robot leg look without having to crouch my legs, which would get really tiring after a while. This is just about all the details for the leg pieces. There are these suspended panel things that go over different parts of the whole costume. I'm gonna be batching all of those out at once. I'm gonna wait to put them on here. Maybe I'll do that on a future live stream. I want this costume to be super fun to wear and towing the line between matching a reference and making something comfortable can sometimes be quite a challenge. Thank you so much for watching this robot leg crafting video. I've got a couple more pieces left to make as well as some painting and stuff. It never ends. I've got a month left. So look forward to more videos. If you haven't seen the previous SweeperBot videos, I've started a playlist. So I'll link that. And if you want to see how I made the feet and the arm pieces, click on that. See you guys in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe so you don't miss any of our new weekly prop and costume tutorial videos. For more goodies, head over to our website where you'll find blueprints, tutorial books, articles, and more. We also have a second channel for our Q&A show and extra behind the scenes videos. Thanks again and happy crafting.